Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to create an auto brightness corrector script which you can download for free, adjust, and change to your liking. Essentially, this is going to be really similar to a previous color scheme generator script I did where you select a layer, run the script, and then it's going to analyze the pixels. And if we look over here, you can see there's a number changing. This is indicative of the brightness of the overall image. It's going through applying an exposure effect and adjusting the value until it reaches a predetermined value that we've decided is good. In our case, it's, the goal is to get to 300. You can see it's almost there, and once it reaches 300, it's going to stop the process and call it good. You can see it's adjusted the brightness slightly for us to this goal brightness we've established before running the process. And so then we could go in and change it to be a higher amount to make things more overexposed in general or lower to make them lower. And depending if the image is bright or dark, it's either going to start from a higher value and make its way down to the, our 300 or our goal brightness, or in this case, if it's darker than the threshold, go from the bottom and search up. And as you can see, as we reach 300 again, it adjusts the brightness for us. So what this is really doing is going through and adjusting the exposure value until it finds what we want the average brightness to be of certain pixels. So we're gonna be taking some code from our color scheme generator script that we previously made, which essentially is all the code to create these text layers. And then we're also gonna be getting the brightness of our image by analyzing random pixels on the screen and averaging out their brightness. If it's really low brightness, we know that we need to increase it with the exposure effect. And if it's really high brightness, we, need, we know we need to bring it down with the exposure effect. So let's get started by opening a new JavaScript file. And we're gonna start by not making a UI this time. I'm going to first start by doing a begin and end undo group for everything to go in and that way we can easily undo this whole process because it's going to be doing quite a bit. So we can add an app.begin undo group and an app.end undo group. And for the begin we need to have some text inside to display. We'll just call this the auto brightness. And then we're going to run a main function which is going to contain everything within it. So we're just going to call main and now we need to go down below and define main. Just like that. The first thing we need is to define our goal brightness. As we mentioned before, that's going to be anywhere from 200 to 300, which is what I found. Essentially, the way I found it is by running the analysis of all the pixels on a black image to get the lowest number, and then on a white image to get the highest. And uh, I found that the brightness values you can get are anywhere from 0 to 765 based on how we're averaging them out. It'll make a little bit more sense once we actually program the analysis process of the going through picking random pixels and sampling them, but uh, essentially anywhere from zero to that number is what our brightness goal should be. So we're just going to set our brightness goal equal to 300 to start. And then we're also going to need a variable for our layer, which we're going to analyze. We'll just assume they have a comp selected as well as their layer selected. So to do that, we'll just say app.project.activeitem, we'll say the active uh, composition, and look at the selected layers in that composition and grab the first one. Then we need to apply an exposure effect to our layer, so that way we can start looking at what happens when we increase or decrease the values. So I'll create a variable called exposure effect and set this equal to our layer.effects, and we're going to add a property called Adobe Exposure 2, which is the match name. And then we're going to create a variable for the property uh, called exposure, which is the one we're going to be changing. So we'll just say exposure property is equal to our exposure effect. And it's the third property because it goes channels master exposure. So we'll grab the third property. And lastly, what we're going to do is call setup comp, which is a function that's going to essentially start everything off for us. We're going to give it a couple of things, the first of which is our active composition. We need a composition. Uh, let's grab our layer. And then we'll also grab our exposure property. Then we'll go down below and define our function called setup comp. We need to make sure we set up everything here. The input arguments, we have our comp, we have a layer, and we also have our exposure property, which I'll keep the name the same. Oh yeah, we also need to bring in our, our goal brightness so that we can compare uh, every time we change the exposure. So I'm going to create a variable called brightness. We're going to use this uh, and start at zero, 
We're going to use this each time we loop through and change the exposure to see what the overall scene brightness is. Then I'm going to go into my color scheme script and we're going to copy all of this uh, point control, red text, green text, and blue text uh, code. This will be available in the description in the GitHub. And I'm just going to copy everything in our setup comp from point control down to colors equals analyze pixels. And I'll paste that below the brightness. And now we have uh, point controls being created as well as layers to keep track of what our sampling values for each pixel are. And then instead of colors, I'm going to use our brightness variable. Brightness is going to equal analyze pixels with all of this information. So now we're going to go back into the script here and copy and paste the analyze pixels function and paste it down below here. And now let's make sure all of the things are updated here. What this uh, function does is takes our layer we bring in and it goes through every 50 pixels of the width and every 50 pixels of the height and samples them. What we want to do instead of getting just the RG and the B values, we just want to get like the combined values or the intensities is what I used in the original example. So we can create an array called intensities and each time through our for loop here, instead of making an RG and a B array, we're going to add all three of them into a single array. So I'll say parse int red source text, then we need the green source text and the blue source text. Then our, each of our intensity values is going to correspond to the overall RGB intensity of whatever pixel it's sampling. Now sampling every 50 pixels it can be kind of slow, so just to make it fast we're going to say 250, and you can increase or decrease this if you want more detail or less detail to make it faster. And then I'm going to actually remove this line that says clean up, and we're going to add this later um, because we don't want to clean it up until we find the right uh, value for our exposure. And then instead of colors, what we're going to do is create a variable called average, and we're going to return the average, which is going to be the average brightness. We're going to say uh, the result of analyzed pixels is going to return the average of all of the pixels we analyze. In order to do this, we're going to need to make a new function called calculate average, and we're going to average out what? the array called intensities, which is sampling all these pixels here. So down below, we again need to define our calculate average function with our array here. We're gonna create a variable called length and set this to array.length, so we can divide it by the length and average it out in a second. We're also gonna have a variable called result starting at zero, and now we need to loop through our array by creating a variable called i, setting it equal to zero, and for i is less than our array.length, or you could reuse the length variable, increment i by one. For each time, we're gonna say result plus equals, so result is equal to itself plus uh, array and the current index. So this will add up all the values and result will now equal all of the sampled pixels intensities. We're gonna say result divided by equals our length Take the sum of all the calculated values and divide it by the length will give you the average. So then we're going to return our results and calculate average will now input an array and output the average of all those values. Alright, so now let's go ahead and see if any of this works. If we kind of go back up to the hierarchy of things, what do we need to do? We're returning average from analyze pixels to so our brightness right here. We're going to say, after we say analyze pixels, we're going to alert the brightness. Let's make sure we're getting this value back. So if I make sure I have a layer selected, make sure I'm linked to After Effects and run the script, it's going to create all my text layers, do the analysis, and give me a brightness of 310, which is actually already really close to our threshold we set. And you can see it leaves all of these text layers as well. So going back into the color scheme generator script, we're going to steal the other function called cleanup, paste that down here. And the place we want to clean it up is after uh, we find our brightness by analyzing the pixels. Because now in this area, we're going to loop and change the exposure every time, adjust it, maybe make it brighter, or darker, depending on our image, check the brightness until we get the brightness close to that number. So again, by running this on the image, it's going to give us the actual brightness. We're, we're looking to get this to turn into 300 rather than 310. So we need to reduce the exposure amount. Uh, that is applied until we can analyze the pixels again and get 300. So essentially what we want to do is just wiggle it ever so slightly 
check the values and just keep doing that over and over until it works. And that's why um, in your analyze pixels function, the higher values you use, the less detailed you'll be, but the much faster it will process because, because it's gonna have to increment a ton of times to find the right value, uh, depending on how detailed you want it to be. So now let's make the loop that will define how detailed everything is gonna be and we'll change the exposure value and guess essentially until we get the value right. So let's create a variable called guess. And our guess is going to be the first guess of what the exposure should be. So what we need to do now is establish some logic. If the brightness is greater than our brightness threshold we want, we need to decrease the exposure effect. So we should really start at something like negative 10 and work our way up until we find the desired brightness. If it's darker, we need to increase the exposure amount. So we should start at the value like 10 and decrement until we reach the value. You could also start at zero and make your way down or up. It's up to you. Um, we're just gonna start at negative 10 or negative five, I think would be a better value. So the way we're gonna check this is we're gonna say if something, and then we're also gonna need an else statement for if it's not that case. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take our analyze pixels function and we're gonna paste it in here. We're gonna say if our analyze pixels, which gives us our brightness, if our brightness is greater than our brightness goal, then we need to say it's brighter. We need to reduce the exposure. So let's just write a note. So if it's greater than our brightness goal, we need to reduce the exposure so it can uh, reach that brightness goal. Else, we need to increase the exposure. So we're gonna start off by saying our guess, if it's greater, our guess is now gonna be negative five. We're gonna start at negative five exposure, and then what we're gonna do each time through, it's not the right case, we're gonna move it up a little bit, check if it's not right, move it up until we get the right brightness. And then if it's not, we need to increase the brightness, and we'll say start at positive five and make our way down. I'm also gonna create a bool for the guess, I'm gonna call it a guess bool starting at false. That way I don't have to redo this logic again later, I can just uh, set a bool. So if, uh, if it's greater, then I'm gonna set the guess bool to true. And then the reason I'm using this guess bool is um, right after we do a loop here, we're gonna use the bool to change the guess. What we're gonna do is a do while loop. We're gonna do this brightness equals analyze pixels function while a case is the case. What is the case we're looking for? We wanna check if brightness is less than our brightness goal, uh, minus 10. And at the same time, it needs to be or our brightness is greater than our brightness goal, plus 10. So what this is saying is, while the brightness value is less than our brightness goal threshold, and it's gr or if it's greater than our uh, brightness threshold, it's not equal to 300 in our case when our value is 300. While that's not the case, keep calculating brightness. But if it just keeps calculating brightness with the same values over and over, it's gonna be stuck in this loop forever. So how do we get it to change the values and progressively get closer to our goal? Well, the way we're gonna do that is by sending in our guess. We're going to take our guess variable and add it to our analyze pixels uh, function here. So we'll just say guess. And we actually also wanna bring in that exposure property so that we can change the exposure property to the guess value. So then inside of analyze pixels, the first thing we'll do is take our exposure property and we'll set the value to our guess. So the first time through, it's gonna set it equal to negative five and um, then it's gonna run the analysis, check the brightness, then the next time through, well, it's gonna keep going through this do while until the value changes. But now it's still just gonna keep setting it to the guess, which is five or negative five every single time. Um, and let's not forget to bring in our exposure property to this one as well. And then to this one as well needs the values. I'm gonna set the guess to zero. Now I'm gonna take the logic that is inside of our while loop and reuse it after our brightness is calculated. I'm gonna say if uh, the brightness has not reached our threshold yet, we now need to change the, uh, our guess. So essentially we're gonna revise our guess if the brightness still hasn't reached our goal. And to do that, we're gonna check our guess bool. If our guess bool is true, do something else, do something else. If our guess bool is true, we're gonna take our guess and we're gonna increment it by saying plus equals 0.2. So every time it goes up, it's gonna say maybe 2.2, and then it's gonna go up 0.2, 2.42. 2 
not, not the value we want, go up another 0.2 until you find the right value. And then else, we're just gonna do the inverse, which is to subtract it, so minus equals 0.2. All right, and lastly, before we run this, let's add a right line so that we can live see what the calculated brightness is so we can make sure it's actually running through and working okay. To do this, we're going to uh, just say right line brightness, and we'll put that in right after our brightness is calculated. All right, so now if I go ahead and run our script, we're getting an error that our object is invalid. I actually think uh, it's having trouble getting our exposure property variable in. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do is just grab our layer, dot effects, and I'm gonna grab the property with the match name Adobe Exposure 2. So it's gonna look for the exposure effect and the third property, which again is this exposure slider here. Now let's go ahead and try to run the script again. You can see our brightness here is being calculated. Uh, we need to round it, but it doesn't really matter for the logic of the script seems to be working fine. It's making its way up towards our goal of 300 brightness. And now it's reached that and we can turn it on and off to see the difference. And you can go back in and change the limits of everything, change the lim uh, range of your guesses, change the increments of the guess, whether you want to change the exposure just a tiny bit, or maybe you want to increase the value even more uh, to make it faster and more generalized. You can run the script on other images or videos to test it out, um, see if there's any bugs. I'm sure there are plenty to find, but you can always analyze where the brightness is at and then adjust the overall value of uh, the brightness goal in order to change the general intensity of the auto correctness. So that's gonna do it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This one was a little bit more in depth and make sure again you check out the code in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly, every Monday and Thursday. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.